اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم تبارک اللہ زی بجتہ الملک وہو علا کل شیئن قدیر اللہ زی خلق الموت والحیات لیبل وکم ایکم آسن و عمل وہو العزیز الخفور اللہ زی خلق سبا سموات انتفاق ما ترا فی خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فرج البصر حل ترا بن فتور صدق اللہ العلی العظیم لیکچر نمبر ایٹین سیکنڈ یر کلاس اینڈ سبسٹینچل انفرمیشن Once again, substantial information, essential information. Information that how you can maintain your body temperature. Information how you are warm-blooded, blooded living thing. Information how, what are poikilotherms. Information what are the hemotherms. Information what is ectotherm. What? Information what is endotherm. These are the information uh, will come in today's uh, lecture and most important discussion that how animals cold-blooded animals maintain their body temperature especially about the cold-blooded animals which are called as poikilotherms and also I promised you in the last session that I will tell you two three procedures more uh, by which our control center can also maintain the temperature we I discussed shivering thermogenesis I discussed non shivering thermogenesis I tell you told you about sweat gland I told you about uh, the uh, about the shivering thermogenesis I told non shivering thermogenesis definitely glands role I told skeletal muscles role we discussed and today discussion same discussion I will continue but I will tell you the classification of the animal on the basis of the temperature classification of the animal on the basis of the temperature two groups of animals two groups of the animal one is a poi kilotherms p o i k i l o t h e r m s poi kilotherms they are cold blooded animals they are cold blooded animals you know animals uh, who, whose temperature is just same as outside that's why when winter season is there where go where the frog gone where the snake gone where reptiles gone where most of the insects gone they hide themselves in the cave reason their temperature becomes same as that of outside so what happens poi kilotherms they cannot maintain their body temperature so therefore that's better for them to hide under the caves homeotherms they they are poi kilotherms are less developed animals as far as homeotherms are concerned they are they are more developed animals they are humans they are mammals they are birds we belong to class mammalia the birds and the class mammalia these are the last two classes of the cardates and those are the developed homeotherms which can maintain their body temperature they can produce the heat and they can increase the temperature they can decrease the temperature now you will ask sir how we can increase the temperature and how we can decrease the temperature i tell you what the point i was talking to you in the last session i told you thyroid gland secret thyroxine under the stimulation of control system what happened thyroxine increased the metabolic rate in the mitochondria glucose react with oxygen carbon dioxide water produced in cellular respiration energy produced in exothermic reaction that energy increase over temperature amazing so we are homeotherms because we are maintaining the temperature i am explaining this term homeotherms we are maintaining over temperature we are we belong to class mammalia when winter season is there when winter season is there, control system receives the message of the cold weather. Control system hypothalamus gives the message by efferent way to the skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles start to contract. I start trembling. You start trembling. We start shivering. By shivering reactions, chemical reactions becomes more in our body. Respiration reactions more in the muscles. Respiration, respiration reaction or cellular respiration reaction. Glucose oxidation more in the mitochondria. Our glucose oxidation reaction more in the muscles number of the mitochondria will more will be used the chemical reactions will be more metabolic activity will be cellular respiration will be in the cell of the muscle cell more energy exothermic reactions will be produced more energy will be released blood will carry this energy will supply to all parts of the body and another modification of homeotherms when the cold weather is there the vasoconstriction will occur of the skin vessels the blood vessels of the skin what will happen the blood vessels of the skin the blood vessels of the skin they will be able blood vessels of the skin the blood vessels of the skin the blood i am explaining this term because we are uh, we belong to this term homeotherms we are warm blooded yes of course you are thinking what is the warm blooded yes homeotherms homeotherms are called warm blooded 
you will be thinking sir was using the word cold blooded the poikilotherms are cold blooded animals so there are two names of these terms okay you will remember normally we use cold blooded animals warm blooded in the classification of animals and the plants homeotherms homeotherms we are warm blooded animal we are warm blooded i will not say animal animals because you know when you study classification of animals in the uh, in the invertebrates and cardates so humans come in large brain mammals so we say animals so they in that in that sense otherwise we should not say homeotherms homeotherms we are warm blooded living things we are homeotherms so what happens over skin blood vessels become constricted their lumen became less their cavity became less less blood flows through the skin more bl blood flows through the inner tissues of our body inner tissues are called visceral tissues v i s c e r a l visceral tissues i will write in the next lecture visceral tissues in the slide as well okay visceral tissues and when the blood will more go into visceral tissues you may be thinking sir blood is entering more inside our body because outside our skin blood vessels have less cavity their size has been decreased their cavity decreased less blood flow through the skin what happens the visceral tissues the tissues which are inside the visceral tissue they will get more blood when they will get more blood what will happen inside the tissues the blood actually carries the heat energy question sir blood carries heat energy from where liver liver is center of metabolism muscle center of metabolism wherever the exothermic chemical reactions are being taking place wherever the catabolism anabolism being taking place wherever the metabolism will taking place heat energy will be produced that in the heat energy will be transferred by the blood now you are getting the importance of the blood blood is just like a a transport system a super transport system which is transmitting many things and most of important most of important is the heat because temperature is reaching all parts of the body this is a one type of the classification warm blooded cold so we are basically warm blooded and we can maintain the temperature another type of the classification of the animal is that i will say this is also same but uh, little a bit difference ectotherms ectotherms they are less developed once again animal just like poikilotherms just like uh, cold blooded which cannot maintain their body temperature ectotherms are little ectotherms are little better than warm blood a cold blooded animal because they can produce heat they can produce heat yes they can produce metabolic heat they can produce metabolic heat but this metabolic heat will be exchanged outside quickly they cannot retain they cannot preserve they cannot save that energy you understand we can save energy we have a system but they cannot save energy no benefit of releasing that energy because that energy will go from high concentration to low concentration very easily from inside body to outside body the animals who can release who depend upon only high concentration low concentration they are not much developed you know i was talking in the osmo conformer also the things flowing from high concentration to low concentration and they are not moving against the concentration gradient they are not balancing according to situation those animals are less developed because they are just depending upon the habitat so this is also a same case heat energy is being produced but that will be released to atmosphere very quickly because they quickly exchange with environment question is why they quickly exchange with environment reason is that because they have no systems they have they can no control better control system and energy flows always from high concentration to low concentration so other animals are developed animals this type of classification also just like same one is less developed animal other group is more developed endotherms are uh, more developed animals reason is that because they can maintain they can ma produce metabolic heat ectotherms can also produce metabolic heat they can also produce metabolic heat yes metabolic heat yes metabolic heat yes but they cannot exchange we can exchange they cannot exchange we can exchange reason is that because we can preserve our heat in our visceral tissues over vasoconstriction mechanism over vaso vasodilation mechanism over shivering thermogenesis mechanism non shivering thermogenesis mechanism thyroxine secretion metabolic hormone secretion they all help in formation of uh, the production of the heat and we can produce uh, heat by hormones as well what is the hormone which was producing heat i told you in the last session do you remember thyroxine hormone very good which what is the gland which secretes the thyroxine hormone thyroid gland where the thyroid gland is situated in the neck who will stimulate thyroid 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 gland in the neck to produce the thyroid thyroxine 
thyroid stimulating hormone from where the thyroxin from where the thyroid stimulating hormones come from pea gland from pea gland pituitary gland where the pituitary gland is situated control center hypothalamus so where the story finished where the story finished control center boss office the brain hypothalamus the main thermostat control system where the jury is sitting where the staff all staff of the body is sitting where the meeting is going on where the decision will take place that you have to heat the you have to increase the heat or you have to decrease the heat so this is the way by which heat energy can be preserved i will tell you one terms which is very important students hyperthermia hyperthermia when your body is raised above the normal level above the normal level this is called hyperthermia this is uh, this is the same information i told you in the last session hyperthermia when temperature will increase what will happen what will happen just think receptor will yes receptor will receive the message receptor will receive the message receptor will give the message where receptor will give the message where control system c control system where the control system will go control system will go to will give the message to the capillaries the blood vessels of the skin what will be the message vasodilation 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 take place more blood flow more water flow more plasma flow more evaporation more high kinetic energy molecule goes into vapor more remaining molecules have less kinetic energy and temperature decrease because kinetic energy is directly proportional to the temperature so this is the same mechanism which i told you this is the vasodilation take place this is the automatic balance system of our body how our body decrease the temperature in the hyperthermia condition one term left with which i have to tell you today in this session pilo erection important in reference to your objective look here even small hairs are maintaining temperature your body surface area is uh, almost all surface area involved completely they worked as a team never uh, over uh, like uh, you became uh, seven friends uh, you will not work in the form of the group one friend will say i will do that thing you will say i will do that thing even family members uh, one family members may not be at in one uh, at one page uh, even department people will not be so what will happen your body all system all structures at one page just want to correct the system just doing the work just doing the job look at the hairs which are almost useless on the skin they are also doing to trap the heat and uh, working as a insulator how by pilo erection what happens the hairs become erect hairs become erect like this one clear this is skin this is skin this is hair this is these are hairs this is hair h hairs this is the air trapped hair when air trapped hair this air thickness this air thickness look here thickness level i am telling this air thickness will prevent the heat so this layer become insulator for the body for the body so heat cannot come from outside to inside because this layer this layer will stop amazing so when the hairs will erect the air will trap the air will become the blanket of blanket blanket and insulation for the heat amazing the pilo erection pilo erection so these are the informations i have to give you this diagram i have already explained you now we go to two three slides which i have to tell you and uh, actually i will define once again the vasodilation vasoconstriction because these are the terms which i just wanted to uh, explain once again repetition is always important you know when i will keep revising the shivering and the non shivering thermogenesis i have explained shivering thermogenesis skeletal muscles will contract and uh, oxidation reaction will take place heat energy will be produced that in the heat energy will be transferred by the blood to the parts of the body and temperature will rise non shivering thermogenesis if the body want to control system want to produce the heat by without shivering the thyroxine hormone will increase the metabolic rate vasodilation vasoconstriction vasodilation when you want to decrease the temperature skin because more blood will be evaporated more water will be evaporated and if you want to save the blood you want to save the water vasoconstriction in the winter weather more blood will go into inner tissues inner tissue visceral tissue v i s c e r a l visceral organs blood go into your inner part and blood transfer the heat to your inner part and uh, these were little informations 
homeothems, poikilo thumbs. These were two terminologies we discussed. And uh, warm blooded animals and cold blooded. I divided animals into two format. One is ectotherm, endotherm, one is homeotherm and poikilotherm. Homeotherms are called warm blooded. We are warm blooded. Yes, of course. One question from, from your side. Sir, you did not explain human beings under category of ectotherm or endotherm. We are endotherm. Luckily, we can produce huge amount of heat energy and we can maintain that heat in our body we will not release to atmosphere because we have a control center we have a system our company has a very good office in the brain and that uh, that is hired by the very good ceo chief executive officer hypothalamus and p gland the second second in charge they are working very well thank you very much